Well, what are you doing there? Oh, I'm getting my um, kitchen quilts in order. I have Americana kitchen quilts that I've been making. I made this cutting board uh, Americana uh, mat. So you put a little bit of damp in it so it won't move on your table like this. And then you put your um, cutting board on it. And then there are um, different pot holders for Americana. And these bib, um, I call them um, splashers because but you have to hit, in order for it to be a kitchen quilt, it has to be a little bit quilted, like these uh, uh, placemats. And this one was made in the 30s. It's got a grandmother's flower garden on it. And this one is a pre-printed fabric. You put your handle in there. And um, this, my mother made the bibs and all of these kitchen uh, type things that are helpers. Little placemats that she made with a little applique. And these are all quilted. Uh, she made um, this bean. Uh, this pattern was in a woman's day and it was for beans, but she put frijoles because that is uh, Spanish uh, beans, I suppose. And then <clears throat> just these, this is a kitchen quilt also. This was used and abused. This one, I would not call it a kitchen quilt because this is the type that uh, has the batting in it and it doesn't have any quilting. But in order for it to be a kitchen quilt, it should be quilted and ba uh, batting in it and um, bound with a binding. So some of these Americana uh, things you can make with um, pre-printed fabric. Um, they're just a lot of fun. You can have appliance covers, you can have tea cozies. Um, there are hundreds of things that you can, I can't even name them, but you have to look to see. This one is not uh, a kitchen quilt because it isn't uh, quilted. So there you have it. Uh, what am I doing? I'm making kitchen quilts.